Well, back at you. This one's gonna be a little different, fun, different. Um, it is September 19th, my mom's birthday, by the way. Uh, but I'm here at in Reno at the airport to pick up Mitch. Um, starting to become a good friend. Um, he's from Wisconsin, drew a non-resident muzzleloader deer tag. Only one in these four units, one tag and he drew it. I'm not gonna tell you how many points cause you guys all just get mad. Uh, there's 10 residents, so 11 deer tags total. Um, he's got about four or five days to hunt. Um, I know he would have had more, but I had my deer or my elk tag. So it was pushing there and so I held him off a little bit. But anyways, he's here, he just landed, waiting for him. Um, my One of my best friends, good friends, Joe, uh, this is his um, wife's brother so one of those deals met up he's a hunter and he was like hey man how do I get to Nevada and I said here how do you do it this is how you apply uh, we've been talking over a couple years and boom he draws one so here we are um, just waiting and uh, hopefully get him off here pretty quick wish we could go hunting right away but I just got off work so we're gonna head home or to Fallon get my stuff uh get my trailer everything hooked on um get him situation and then we're out of here so stick with us this is gonna be a fun one uh we go from a, a guy that has tons of trees and to wide open spaces so uh 2023 muzzleloader deer tag non-resident first time hunting open sights Oof, it's gonna be fun all right take care Wrong button. 2023 deer hunt with Mitch. He's from Wisconsin, so we got him over there. He can't really see. I guess I don't have my my goddamn light on. But anyways, we made it in in about two hours and 40 minutes. A little longer than I thought, or I wanted. But we made it here safely, anyways. We're under a couple trees. It was raining on us when we got in. And, uh... We're on the cots, snuggled in in our bedrolls. So no wall tent tonight, gotta rough it. Wake up in the morning, get a morning hunt in, see how we do, and then we'll be back. Go from there. So other than that, muzzleloader 2023 Nevada. See if we can get see some woolies tomorrow. I'd like to spot some deer right out the gate. So stay tuned. Like I told you before, we'll see how the experience goes. All right, Mitch found four bucks. See him walking in the screen, small four point, a couple threes, eight bucks, and I don't know even how many does there's a deer going up right there. Bucks. Eight, that's nine bucks now. Yeah, keep moving here. I was just trying to get Mitch that full Nevada outdoor experience, helping with the tent, getting everything ready, and just moving on through the day. All right, update. We finally set up the wall tent. We had some thunderstorms this afternoon, so. Anyways, Mitch and I woke up, slept on the cots last night, and then got out of here pretty early. I think we saw a total of nine bucks, maybe like 30, 30 does, 35 does. So it was a good morning. Um, out of the nine bucks, one that looked like a small four point. It wasn't something that I, I kind of was telling Mitch it's up to him, but I wouldn't, you know, as a first day, but... As we get, keep going, he's got a few more days. I'm gonna go back up this evening and go up on top. So, but for the most part, it was a good morning. See that many deer and see that many bucks. So, and they're getting changed, had a nap. Got a little 
afternoon lunch snack in and we're gonna head back up and see if we can turn something up oh by the way mitch and i are mechanics i had uh i bent this rod right here on my side by side it's still kind of bent bent it pretty bad to where it was pretty rough coming back about three miles so took the tire off and bent it close as we could get it and got it back on and it seems like it was doing pretty good so Honda's back at it. So oh, that's good. Anyways, 151. And uh, come back, get some dinner, and or hopefully have a buck in the back of the Sabbath. Bucket. That afternoon, we had Stay major tuned. weather hit, and uh, you wouldn't believe what uh, events started to unfold on uh, my Sabbath side. How goes it, Mitch? It's good, man. <laughs> It's only gonna get better tonight. It's raining, so we're kind of holding it out, letting the trying to stay dry as much as we can. Got some good thunder boomers hitting here in the old Nevada, but trying some new country before we head over. It's not looking so hot, but we'll head over there, check it out. Trying to get lucky. It's not how many, it's how big. Trying to find the one. The one. Oh. Come out and play. Yeah, hopefully this rain passes and we can keep moving. See ya. All right, recap. We got Mitch here from out of state, uh, Wisconsin. He drew a number one, well, one tag non-resident. So uh, anyway, he's been at it for a day and a half. Got some bad news on the way back to Alabama. Uh, take my side by side in. Um, I'm not sure I got an electrical problem. Uh, we actually mechan mechanic yesterday uh, in the morning. I don't know if I hit a rock, got it caught underneath and uh, bent one of my drive lines, one of my uh, pretty much tire tire guides is what they are, and uh, bent it really good to where we were struggling to get even get back to camp. So uh, we got that fixed somewhat, and it felt good. But then yesterday I lost power. Uh, luckily at camp we were like four miles from camp, and it decided to die at camp. So thank goodness for that. Uh, but anyways, Mitch saw, we saw, I don't know, 10 bucks yesterday roughly. Yeah, there was, I don't know, there's some of the same, some that weren't, but uh, one decent four point at the very end of the night. We kind of decided to hold off, which, you know, I, I don't blame him. He's got a few more days. And that was before we knew we uh, didn't have a side-by-side -side, though. Um, but with that being said, hopefully we can get, get back on the road here in a couple hours. Taking it to one of the mechanics and hopefully pretty much beg for him to get this thing rolling so we can get moving. Uh, weather's been shitty. It was cool today. Last night it rained on us all night and then the night before it sprinkled, so it's been cool but kind of windy and the deer just, they were kind of being different. I'll give you that. They hold a little longer than they should, I think, due to the wind. And then uh, not a lot of pressure though. Camp's good. So stay tuned as we keep going here just challenging the hunting gods so hopefully get it done for mitch and uh, get him a good buck so stay tuned Fun times, waiting out the storm, sleet slash snow, about 30 mile an hour winds, maybe a little more. Well, hunkered down, waiting. It's gotta pass, I keep telling myself, it's gotta pass. Come on. You gotta have fun, so I decided to throw a rock when he was out there what? looking for deer. <laughs> Threw a rock. Or a lion. Is it actually 
scared the shit out of me because I heard it. I was like, I thump, and I looked back and I just see the trees move. And I was actually like, oh fuck, maybe there's a deer coming, like running through here. Or is a lion going to jump on your back? If they're not that loud. I'd be, I'd be dead before then. Oh, fuck. And you wouldn't believe, but boom, just like that, we got hit up to three to four inches of snow within hours. We'll be done right now, Mitch. Huh? We got a, got a two point right there with some does. We are getting absolutely shmammered yeah, they are out there. with snow. I've never seen this. I told Mitch I'm getting everything. You brought snow, rain, wind, broken shit. I'm cursed, man. I brought it all. <laughs> I mean, we got, it's not like we're getting a little snow, like we've been getting pissed on. So we were going to head out of here, but you see that little, yeah, that's the sun. We might, it might work out for us to get real good. Let's we'll see. Well, I guess we haven't given you a camp. This is the tent. There's Mitcher. We're, uh, got flapjacks going. Two burner in here got the buddy heater but we the burner gets it pretty warm got some chicken tagaragi it's kind of like a spicy chicken anyways bed over there bed over here that's the entrance nothing crazy just enough to keep the hey, we got pissed on the other night so it was nice but anyways having a couple miller lights Today was rough. We got uh, side, side fixed and ran up onto uh, Stoneburger. Kind of wanted to see that, and then uh, we were—it was just getting good, and we got hit hard. I, I'm thinking one to two inches of snow, probably as we left. We had at least an inch when we left. I know that close. So. Like an hour. And socked in, couldn't see, couldn't glass, couldn't even, I mean, do nothing. We were just driving up roads, trying to kick deer off the bottoms. Did kick three does up, probably 25 yards from Mitch on his side, but it wasn't that great. But two days left. He's got three days, but two days realistically. So we're going to push hard tomorrow. Debating to go back where we were or... So we'll see, get some eats, have a couple beers, get some good night's sleep, and then decide. But we need to get that smoke pole kind of hot. We need to start shooting here soon. So hopefully we can do that. Pew, huh, Mitch? Pew. pew, pew. So, and then get his name up on here. I'd like his name up in this sucker. Get a Wisconsin boy up in here. Yep. So I got the brown marker in the truck. So brown, it's down. Anyway, it's been fun. Just weather has not cooperated. Nothing we can do. We can't change Mother Nature. She, She's going to do what she wants to do. But It's been crazy. And then breaking a few things. So, my side is not cooperating. It's Now it is. It's good now. But, anyways, good, good night's sleep. Get after it tomorrow. It's all we can do. Let's go. It's better than work. Yep. That's true. <laughs> I mean... I won't, this is going to go on YouTube, so I won't say what it could be, but I got to keep it kid friendly. But anyways, logging off. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Well, update. You wouldn't believe, but this morning I broke a tie rod. Not only did I break it, I snapped it. So, then tried to wire it. Some contraption, you don't even want to know. That lasted not very long. right before the heat of passion i mean it was just getting light and we seen one buck that mitch wanted to try to go for and of course it went south so stranded got the spot x 
supposedly my dad and stepmom were on their way to rescue, bring in the weld there and uh, generate in the side by side. I don't know how they're going to get up here with all that shit, but we'll find out. And see if we can get it welded to limp it back to camp. I'm going to have to put, I don't know, a piece of metal or something. It's, it's pretty rough. It's pretty bad. What do you think, Mitch? We still got a day to get one down. <laughs> <laughs> I know. The smaller one. Better be watching. Uh, all I can say is shit. That's all I can say. It's freaking crazy. Tie rod, relay switch. Uh, it's It's been crazy. All right. And we're out.